everyone, this is Eric Sman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video, we will be solving some problems using the applications of right triangles. So, without further ado, let's begin. Using applications of right triangles, we will be able to solve first, of course, the right triangles and secondly, Solve applied word problem. To solve a right triangle means to find the missing lengths of its sides and the measurements of its angles. And since we will discuss only right triangles, therefore, we know one angle as a measure of 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. To solve right triangle, we need to know that one of the acute angles A or B and a side or else dalawang side. Then, gagamitin natin yun yun ng Pythagorean Theorem. And the fact that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, the sum of the angles A and B in a right triangle is therefore 90 degrees. Kasi, this is already a 90 degrees. Example number 1. If B is equal to 2, eto yan, and A is equal to 40 degrees, eto yung A, Solve the right triangle again. Pag sinabing solve the right triangle, ibig sabihin, we are going to find all the missing sides and angles of the triangle. And since yung A natin is 40 degrees, ibig sabihin, yung A plus B natin na principle, A plus B, is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, ang B natin is equal to 90 degrees minus yung A natin na 40 degrees degrees. B now is equal to 50 degrees. Alam na agad natin yung isang B. So, this is check na agad. And, para mahalat natin yung sides A and C, we use the facts that tangent 40 degrees, eto, tangent 40 degrees is equal to opposite is A over adjacent na 2. Solving for A, A is equal to, we cross multiply this, 2 tangent 40 degrees. And by calculating, A is equal to 1.68. So this is the value of A, this is the value of angle B. Reminder, dahil gagamit tayo ng calculator dito, make sure na yung ating calculator ay naka-degree mode. Solving for letter C naman. Alam na, natin, alam na natin ito na 90 degrees. For letter C, we will use the cosine function. So, cosine 40 degrees is equal to adjacent na 2 and hypotenuse na C. Dahil siya ang inahanap, C. So, cross multiplying, C cosine 40 degrees is equal to 2. And solving for C only, we divide both sides by cosine 40 degrees. We cancel. C now is equal to 2 over cosine 40 degrees. And by calculating, C is equal to 2.61. And this is all the missing sides and angles of Example number 1. Example number 2. If A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 2, solve the right triangle. In this problem, we have three unknowns. The side C or the hypotenuse, the angle A and the angle B. Alam na natin yung isang angle which is the 90 degrees. Since yung A natin is equal to 3, ito yan, yung A natin, and yung B natin is equal to 2, let's say ito yung ating B, then by pi then, by Pythagorean theorem, masisolve natin si side C. So, C square is equal to A square plus B square. C now is equal to the square root of ang ating A is 3. And this is square plus B na 2. This is square. C is equal to square root of, this is 9 plus 4, square root of, 13. Or kung i-decimal natin, this is 3.61. So, this is the side C. And to find the angle A, we use the fact that yung tangent A natin, eto, tangent A, we will use the tangent function. Tangent A is equal to, alam naman na natin itong 
3 agad yung A, alam na natin yung B which is 2. Opposite adjacent. So, A over B. And substituting the values, tangent A is equal to 3 over 2. And to solve for the angle A, kita transfer natin itong tangent to the right side of the equation. And pag na-transfer na natin siya, magiging arc sine na siya or tangent negative. So, this is A is equal to arc tangent is tangent raised to negative 1, 3 over 2. And by calculating, angle A is equal to 56.3 degrees. To solve for letter B, hindi na natin kailangan gumamit ng any trigonometric function. We simply do the arithmetic. So, by the principle of A plus B is equal to 90 degrees, solving for B, B is equal to 90 degrees minus value ng A natin na 56.3 degrees. Angle B is equal to 33.7 degrees. So, this is all the values na inahana for example number 2. Example number 3 is a word problem. A straight road leads from a house with an elevation of 8,000 feet to a top of a hill with an elevation of 11,100 feet. In this kind of problem, since we have no figure, we have to visualize. Say, this is the house. Ang elevation ng house natin is 8,000 feet. And a straight road leads from this house to a top of the hill. Okay, this is the top of the hill. And ang elevation ng top of the hill natin is 11,100 feet. Yung length ng road natin is given we have 14,100 feet. The question now is, what is the inclination of the trail? Yung inclination na yan, ang tinatanong is yung angle na ito. Paano natin malalaman this angle? So, by the application of right triangle, we will use the trigonometric function. Pinakamainam na gagamit natin. Since meron na tayong isang given na side, eto yun. Yung inclined side natin, which is the hypotenuse, eto yun, 4,100 feet. Hypotenuse and impossible na malaman natin itong side na ito. Considering this as a right triangle. Alam natin, Elevation, 8,000 feet, and then another elevation na 11,100 feet. Since impossible na malaman ito, ang gagamitin natin na trigonometric function is A is the sine function. So, to solve for the inclination, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Since alam na natin yung hypotenuse, ang kailangan na lang natin hanapin pa is yung opposite niya. Ito. And of course, the opposite is itong part na to. To solve for this opposite side ng angle natin, we just need to subtract the 8,000 from 11,100 feet. So, 11,100 minus 8,000 is equal to 3,100 feet. Ito yung value ng, ito yung value ng ating opposite. Sin theta is equal to 3,100 over 14,100. And again, to solve for the angle theta, we are going to transfer this to the right side of the equation. And pag transfer na natin siya, magiging arc sine or negative. Arc sine is equal to, uh, theta is equal to arc sine or sine negative times 3,100 over 4,100 and this is equal to by calculating angle theta is equal to 12.7 degrees. This is the answer for example number 3 word problem. Example number 4 is another word problem and again we don't have any given figure so we visualize and draw. A man standing at point A suddenly turns right 20 degrees from the north then walks 10 meters to point B. So this is point A. Ito yung ating north. Dito daw nakaharap yung ating man. This is the point A. And then suddenly, nag-turn daw siya ng 20 degrees. Ayan. This is 20 degrees. 
After turning 20 degrees to the right, naglakad siya ng 10 meters to point B. Okay, this is the point B. And ito yung ating 10 meters na lakad niya. And dito na siya ngayon nakaharap. After reaching point B, he stops and turns exactly 90 degrees to his left. Ito yung kanyang left. 90 degrees ang kanyang tinurn. And naglakad siya ulit ng 20 meters naman. So, this is point C. Ito yung kanyang nilakad na 20 meters hanggang dito sa ating point C. The question now is, what is the angle form between point B and C? Considering itong direction na nagawa niya from walking is a right triangle, we connect point C to point A. Ang tinatanong is yung angle form between point B and point C. Ito yung pinanggalingan niyang A. Ito yung point B natin. Ito yung point C natin. Ang tinatanong is yung angle between sa kanila. Ito po yun. And to solve for that, the solution is simple. We will use the trigonometric function of the tangent. Say so this is angle A. Tangent A is equal to ang kanyang opposite ay 20 meters. 20 over ang kanyang adjacent ay eto na 10 meters. Malalaman na natin agad yung tangent A. Solving for the angle A. Angle A is equal to, nilipat natin dito, magiging arc tangent times, we cancel, uh, this will be 2 over 1, or simply 2 na lang. Angle A is now equal to arc tangent 2. Angle A is finally equal to 63.4 degrees. Ito lang ang hinahanap for example number 4. And that's all for today's video, the application of right triangles. Please like and share, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.